These mirrors are symbols of hope. It's just a matter of like simplifying how the message is interpreted by the people. Make sure everyone is playing their role. And they can't play their role if they don't know what their role is, you know? Matari is like the second largest slum in Kenya. This is a place where there is very poor sanitization. People in this community live from hand to mouth. The issue of uh, social distancing is quite impossible to achieve because there are a lot of people living in such, such a squeezed area. So it's important to give like the correct information and the, the correct practical measures these people can use to protect themselves. It's basically the five instructions in Swahili. Stay at home, maintain social distance, uh, wash your hands with soap, cover your mouth while coughing, and call 719 when you're feeling sick. Putting like an illustration of an image that's simple enough to understand. My very first vivid memories of me being an artist, I have to credit to my mom. My mom is a preschool teacher, and she was the very first person who I saw using art to teach. That's a seed that has been planted and has always stuck with me, like, how can I use art, not only for aesthetic, but also to teach. Since the corona situation, we haven't been managed to access the studios as much. The government has put a couple of measures in place to deal with the coronavirus in Kenya. We have like a, a daily curfew. There is also a cessation of movement in and out of the Nairobi metropolitan uh, area. So it has to be until the lockdown is done. I don't know when we'll be back. So we have to work from home or paint the streets. This is uh, just some of the measures the government is trying to put just to, to control the spread. But I feel there is more to be done, especially in educating and just making sure the message gets to the people on the ground. So kama hii tachora ingine huko hivi kama hii itadai lakini different kidogo ah kule hivi nataka kuchora tu mdem na ma aye ko sawa hiyo sisi tu mdem but bonge la size size kubwa kiasi haya basi mheshimiwa niaje kwa kwa so today we are going to do a mural on the other side of the river. And today we are also going to invite a few other artists from Madare, local artists who are upcoming. We have them join Msale so that they can work on this together and just learn from each other. Yeah, so I hope the artwork that you guys will do to today will, will just make more people take up the messages of how to protect themselves from Corona. Ah, for sure, for sure, Manze. That's the, that's the agenda. Yeah, this is the wall that they are going to paint today. Oi, Mutua Art. Rada. We come for So, Art, Nia Jenzai. Hey, Mambo. On a Mutua. Plan, you're going to go on the master. Yeah, Nanesha. What's up? Hey, Nimoto, man. Nimoto, Sana. So, if you can't get a kid, I'm going to go. I need my sound. Especially when we talk about the most vulnerable people, like the people in Matare, they are not being taken care of by the government, but also it's not a foreign concept to them, not being taken care of. They are used to be the forgotten lot. They are dealing with different uh, diseases, typhoid, malaria, cholera. These are issues these people deal with on a daily basis. So you can see people are yet to like accept the seriousness of the situation because they deal with life-threatening situations on a daily basis. Kwa wakasi wa madhare kama slums, watu wengi awachuesi kwa sababu awana fedha ndiposa ile pesa mbao wanapata katika ajira yao. Wengi wanaachana kununua parakoa, wanaunua chakura. 
sababu utakura barakoa Ah, Hapo ndani hiyo hat ndo cheka hizo messages. Mm -hmm. Then ile side nyingine kutakuwa na mkono imeshika sabuni. Mm -hmm. Alafu hapa hizo of course tongeza mustaf tu za za kala za kuonesha tu vibration. Ndio msi hata kipita ina mkavuta macho. Sawa. Yeah. Yeah. Aire aire. Sawa. I think that's the beauty of graffiti where the audience just interacts with the work with the message directly like there are no in betweens. So I feel ultimately that's more effective because we are sure it's reaching the people because we are where they live, you know. I like it, I like it, I like it. I can feel the, the resilient spirit of the community here is way stronger than any disease can break. That's the beauty of Matari. People will be, will be able to resonate with it around because a lot of people are putting on Kitenge mask and like surgical mask. This is good work. I really call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the initiatives like this, we are trying to push the message out there. Happens guys will have the knowledge of how to act, how to defend themselves, how to protect themselves. All of these things, I believe, will come in handy and uh, will help the community fight it better, better than what you have seen other nations doing. Yeah, this is how it's passing. Yes, sir. Yeah.